Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm sorry I don't have anything better prepared for you this week as I am one of the Texans that was affected by this horrible, horrible cold spell. Uh, as you can see, I'm freshly showered after four days of not having any heat or any water. And um, so I wasn't able to really work on any kind of videos or do any kind of research because I had no power. However, I was able to look at my iPad every once in a while while I was warming myself in my car. Um, to try and cheer myself up, I found some things that made me laugh once in a while while we were going through this horrific ordeal. Watching, you know, it was it was really hard on us, but it was actually harder watching everyone else suffer as well. Now they keep saying yeah, we're all in this together. Mm, yeah, we are, but not of us all all in the same boat. Many, many, many of us uh, suffered unnecessarily, I believe. Now I'm not complaining, mind you. I'm back to normal as far as that goes, as much as I can say this was the last day of our cold snap it's actually still 30 degrees outside at 9 30 in the morning central time so uh i'm sure people are still having troubles i happen to live outside of most of the incorporated areas uh most of the time we get served last however this time I don't think that my area actually suffered the blackouts because of the failures. I do believe that we were part of the rolling blackouts to help the failures, but that didn't make it any better and the water was gone for a lot longer than the electricity. So if you don't mind, I'm going to just fill in today's uh, Saturday video with a list that I found this morning while I was having my coffee that made me laugh out loud. And this is the 26th of the best comebacks we found on the internet in July. Anthony Barstow, July 30th, 2020. Basically, you vote up the most vicious burns on this one. This is a uh, ranker.com list. The internet can be a wonderful place to share ideas, but it can also be a wonderful place to call out the worst ideas and the weirdest thoughts people felt comfortable putting out there. With a hat tip to the Reddit forum, our clever comebacks, check out the best comebacks on the internet from July. Number one, the difference. I'm not gonna read every single one of these to you because not all of them were funny. The difference, as a straight male, how would you feel about your child having a homosexual school teacher? Question mark, exclamation point. Who there, T-H-E-I-R, around for eight hours of the day. Flesh colored ass, flesh colored answers, if a gay teacher teaches my child the difference between there, there, and there, I'm good. Yeah, that's what the teacher's there for. If the, if the student knows about his sexuality, that's probably not the best teacher in the world. Small gatherings. Vanilla Ice going ahead with Texas Concert. We didn't have coronavirus in the 90s. Best comments or best comeback was, that's okay, gatherings smaller than 10 people are usually okay. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Build something in front of us? Innocent. If being cute is a crime, I deserve to be arrested and jailed for a hundred years. Someone comes back and says, a hundred years? For a crime you didn't commit? <laughs> smack! Smack! He is kind of cute, though. Not weird. Weirdo! Why'd you like my pick in 2017? He says, I'm not weird. You just haven't looked good in a while. <laughs> At least three, four years now. Not werewolves. I don't understand this, but it's kind of cool. Disabled parking should only be valid during business hours, nine to five, Monday through Friday. I cannot see any reason why people with genuine disabilities would be out beyond these times. Jennifer Lee Rossman says, we're disabled, Daniel, not werewolves. I don't get that. The Mars Rover. 
I don't know what's so sad about the Mars rover dying. I'm going to die cold and alone too. Yepaz says, difference is the Mars rover contributed to society. Still don't understand how, unless you mean all the tax dollars we and money we spent on sending it up there. Of course, uh, Gandalf says that would that wound will never fully heal. He will carry it the rest of his life. Number seven, on a bus. This one's good. I'm on a bus and this guy is so fine, but he has an iPhone 6. Somebody answers her, and you're on a bus. I guess you better make sure he didn't pee himself. Have a plan. Abby says, I've been in seven car accidents this year. Y'all can't tell me God doesn't have a plan for me. Senpai says, girl, it sounds like he trying to kill you. Uh, that one is offensive, is my opinion, and it wasn't funny. This one wasn't funny either. Just mean. This one's good. Number 11, waterproof. People really be grown and still be using umbrellas? The answer is, you supposed to become waterproof after you turn 18 or something? <laughs> I'm so glad that's not the case. Amazing on your resume. Adam Grant says, what's the worst career advice you've ever received? Mine? Don't waste your time helping others. Two, drop 90% of your projects because you can only do one at a time. Three, don't write a book. Monica Lewinsky answers, an internship at the White House will be amazing on your resume. <laughs> well, she became a household name anyway. It's starved to death. Update, it's starved to death. The Daily Beast, deadly brain eating amoeba com confirmed in Florida. It's starved to death. How's, one, how's something like that passed on, I wonder? We hide our teas. I'm going to read it from the bottom end from the bottom up. After the incident in Boston, they're talking about the Boston Tea Party, we always hide our teas. Robot Rebel says, we just say the tea in a very high pitch that Americans cannot hear. Beans After Dark says, British, British people be like, I'm British. Actually, we do. Ellie Mystical, I'm really sick of being a parent today. It's been four months since anybody other than me and my wife have been responsible for them. It's hard. I feel like non-parents have no idea how hard it's been. D'Angelo136 answers, actually we do. That's why we're not parents. <laughs> yeah, I think they remember how hard their parents had to work. Not an excuse not to have parents though. All right, weird way to announce. There's catfishing and then there's whatever the hell this is. Well, it looks like she dresses up sometimes and she doesn't some other times. Not everybody looks quaffed and made up right all the time, right? Or do they? And Hadi Karate says, what a weird way to announce the world that you've never had a girl sleep over your house. <laughs> she was paying he's a virgin politely. That was pretty good burn, yes. Um, the machines one's not a, not funny. Just keep forgetting. Abby Govident says, Why does no one talk about how depression and anxiety can cause major memory loss? Losa Fali says, We do. You MFs just keep forgetting. <laughs> she walked into that one. Publishes research. There's a cure for cancer. His name is Jesus. There's a cure for HIV AIDS. His name is Jesus. There's a cure for lupus. His name is Jesus. There's a cure for diabetes. His name is Jesus. And Jovan asks, well, when is he going to publish his research? Wait outside. This is a very funny one. Jeanette says, this couple went to the gym together for six months. Heart. Arsh says, did the guy wait outside? <laughs> Uh, it looks like he ate while she fasted. She looks fine now. He looks, like I say, he looks like he gained weight. Hmm. Guy with a sore throat. This is funny too. In fact, it put the exact picture in my head after he said this. Uncle Fabian asks, who wins this fight and why? So we have a picture of Thor, God of Thunder, and Batman. 
Nashida says, you're literally putting the God of Thunder against a guy with a sore throat in a Halloween costume. <laughs> I mean, think about it. <laughs> Doesn't that actually tell you, give you an exact picture of Batman? Most Batman. Into the basement. That one's not funny either. Waiting their turn. Q. Q-U-E-U-E -U -U -E is Q followed by four silent letters. Robot Spider says, they aren't silent. They're waiting their turn. <laughs> Q. Get it? Q. This is a good one. Kind of like Ellen. The Ellen Show. Can this teenager use a rotary phone? The answer is, oh, look at these stupid kids. They can't use a rotary phone. They can't use a phone book. Wow. It's almost like as technology advances, older things become useless and obsolete. Kind of like Ellen. Although her age wasn't the reason why she was useless and obsolete. She's always been useless and obsolete. Just my opinion. This one isn't funny either. How cameras work, which I was it again. I see that our older generation still don't know how cameras work. Normal cameras, yes. These aren't normal cameras. Kind of sucks about your eye, dude, though. All right, that's the end of that list. So anyway, that's it. Once again, I'm sorry I didn't have anything better prepared for you, but again, a um, little bit of a victim here. Not trying to be a victim. However, just to let you know, I didn't forget about you and I tried to get something out for my usual schedule. It's been a bear. <laughs> we had to play pioneer people here for a while. In fact, we even went as far as melting snow so that we could flush the toilet. So if you enjoy my work and you want me to continue, doing what I do here for you, please consider giving me a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share, of course, is the most important. And of course, if you can, I know everybody's in dire straits, but we kind of sort of need it a little bit more than we have in a while. <laughs> uh, please, a donation would be the ultimate. And of course, I'm still sending out gifts. If the post office will get them out there, I know they've been rather slow too. Everything seems to be breaking down at the moment. So I'm trying to keep a, a stiff upper lip here. So i um, going to try to get on the ABL show tonight if I can. Um, I'm sure he's probably going to want to know what it's like down here or what happened down here. So I will give you all a blow by a blow, by blow on the show that is if we keep our power and our internet and our water so thanks for dropping by and thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today until next time